our mind is one very, very sneaky, tricky little character. And I'll tell you why. If you are experiencing pain, emotional pain, physical pain, that could be stemming from you doing a job that doesn't fulfill you and you want out. You could even have an idea of what it is that you want to do. You want to go and do work that is gonna be more fulfilling, more challenging, help you grow as an individual, help you give back to the world, whether it's to go and start your own business or move into another industry. Or maybe you're in pain because you are in a business that is just not working and you want to improve that business. Or you are in business and you want to transition to something else that you also feel would be more fulfilling for you. However, the brain, this brain of ours, gives us thoughts and feelings such as, don't do it, it's too risky, it won't work, why bother, there's so much competition, you're too old, too young, too short, too tall, too whatever. And these thoughts and beliefs are what I believe are the killers of our dreams. And what I believe and know is the pathway out of pain, whether it's a physical pain in the body, an emotional pain, anxiety, depression, frustration, confusion, sadness, doubt, comes down to the ability to stand back and look at the mind and look at these thoughts and consider and assess if they are actually really true. And it is my experience, and I'm sure you can relate if you haven't already put these thoughts under the radar, that that is all they are. They are thoughts. And these thoughts are designed by our brain to give us feelings to protect us from a perceived danger that does not exist. Standing on the edge of a cliff on a windy day with feelings of fear is a fear worth listening to. But the thought and feeling of considering a change of career, a change of relationship, a change of habit, a change to our business, while these thoughts appear, will not kill us. They will just be there as a sign that we are seeking a different path. And if you are wanting a pathway to cure and relief from this pain, my tip and advice today on the pathway to cure pain and move to a life that we want to be, do and have, is to put these thoughts under radar and to really consider them and to really just decide that that's all they are. They are just thoughts designed to protect us. They are not real. And the more that we can choose to tell ourselves empowering stories, empowering thoughts, empowering beliefs that we can do it. Excuse me, a bit of noise going on over here that I'm trying to get away from. This is what frees us, but it takes courage. It takes determination and it takes consistency and it takes an individual who really wants to create change in their life. Now the good news is, and this may help you and I'll close off on this video for today. Have you ever now, have you ever done something that you now do with ease, without even thinking about it? Maybe it's driving a car. Maybe you, yeah, you've learned to drive a car, but once upon a time you had no idea and it could have been scary and overwhelming, but over time you decided to drive the car, you practiced, you got lessons, you persevered. You had to think about it at first. Now you get in the car and drive. This is how we learn everything. And this is the emotional journey that we go through with everything is pushing through 
fears of doubt, fear of worry, because we're learning to do something new. And we have to keep going. We have to keep pushing through, telling ourselves that we can do this, we've got this. To put a little plan together, to start taking some action, to tell ourselves good stories, better stories. Stories are gonna uplift us and keep us moving. Get good support, get good training, get good help to keep us on the path. And sure, we may fall off a little bit. We might not drive so well some days. We may choose to not drive at all some days. But overall, we've got the vehicle. We are learning to drive. We are learning to move into the direction that we want to go. And all of a sudden, that emotional and physical pain starts to lift because we are heading in the direction that we want to go. So if this is resonating with you today, you're experiencing emotional and physical pain, you want to move into a better direction, stand back, look at the thoughts, consider them, are they really true? And I'll close off with this very quick story about how tricky this thought thing is, these thoughts that we get, and it's this. I'm doing a training course at the moment and I'm learning how to become better at internet marketing, help more people, reach more people, make a difference on the planet by understanding how to use digital marketing, internet business marketing tools to help me make a difference on the planet. And I was in a workshop and there was a gentleman in there and they were talking about what it takes to build a business that is gonna impact the world and fulfill us deeply from within. And this one gentleman said, I have to go because I'm a granddad and I gotta go play with the kids. Now, I don't mean to sound cold hearted or anything around the fact of not wanting to be a grandparent and play with the kids. However, that one little story that he's telling himself, here he is, he's paid money to be in this training program to learn how to fulfill his goals and dreams, how to reach more people, to make a difference on the planet. Yet he's got a story and a belief that he has to leave this training course that only had about 20 more minutes to go, to go play with the kids. Now that story to him seems so true and real, but really is it? Could have he just said, hey, you know what kids? Granddad's doing this course to help make a difference on the planet. I will be there at this time and to set that boundary and have that awareness. Consider your stories. I'm not saying be cold hearted. I'm not saying don't be a grandparent. I'm not saying go and do the things that are important to us, but to really consider what it is that we're choosing to do with our time. Oh, I've really got to watch that episode on TV every day for now because I love it. While you're dying inside because you're doing something you don't like, you've got a goal and a dream, but because of fear and the thoughts, you're being stopped by going and doing these things that are holding you back to getting you to where you want to go. Now, I'm not saying don't watch the show. Watch half an hour, one hour, but consider what stories you're telling yourself and is it moving you forward or is it keeping you stuck in a place that you don't want to be and start telling yourself better stories. That's what I wish for you today. Tell yourself better stories. You can do it. It's all made up. If we're telling ourselves bad stories, let's make up good stories and let's move in the direction of our goals and dreams. That's what I want for me. That's what I want for you. And let's go do it. Speak to you soon. Have a great day.